Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create YouTube intro and outro videos using FlexClip, the best online video maker. Before I start, I would like to tell you that this video is completely made with FlexClip. Also, I insist you to subscribe my channel for future updates. Before I teach you how to create YouTube intro, let me give you a brief introduction about FlexClip. FlexClip is first of all an online video maker that comes with both free and paid features. With FlexClip, you can create marketing or add videos for your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. You could create illustrative videos, narratives, stories and tutorials. You also have the screen recording feature with this software. You could create videos for memorable events such as birthdays and weddings. You could create product promos and trailers. You could convert your slideshows into interested videos with mind-blowing animation effects. You could also create video intros and outros. The link for this software is given in the description below. Sign up for free right now. Ok, now let us see how to create an YouTube intro. So once you have signed up, you will be redirected to FlexClip editor screen. That should look something similar to this. So here, there are lot of templates available. You can choose one of them and start editing your videos. Or you can start from the scratch. So to start from the scratch, you can click on the start from scratch button here and choose either one of these modes uh, either the storyboard mode or the timeline mode for the beginners i would recommend the storyboard mode so go ahead and click on the choose button so now there are different screen sizes available here so i would choose 16 is to 9 because this is uh, the one that is required to create YouTube intros. So suppose in case if you are creating a YouTube intro for YouTube shots, then you can choose the vertical format uh, that is 9 is to 16. So now this time I would choose 16 is to 9 and then click on the OK button. Once the editor is loaded completely, it takes you directly to the templates tab where you can find tons of video templates. So if you are creating a YouTube video intro, then you can just scroll down and find intro and outros. So you can just click on this arrow to see more you can also click on the see all link here so this displays a lot of intro templates you can also do one more thing you can just search for intro and press the enter key so this displays the intro templates you can select the one that is required so if you hover the mouse over these templates you can see the preview just like this you can also unmute to hear the music So now let me select a template. So I think this is fine. I'll just click on this to load. 
so in this template there is only one page so i can just click on this plus button to add this to the storyboard so this is called the storyboard so i'll just delete the blank one from here i'll just click on this button so now all you need to do is simply replace the logo here so i'll just click on this circle so once you click this you can see a replace option here if this is available you can replace the logo or there is another thing now for this uh, template the replace button is not re replace option is not available so what we can do is we can just uh, delete this logo placeholder i'll just press the delete key now we shall upload the logo so to upload your own logo you can click on the media so earlier we were in templates now you can just click on the media then click on local files so i'll just select this logo and click on the open button so it takes some time for uploading so once the uploading is done you should carefully click on this button picture in picture if you click on this plus sign what happens is the image is inserted as a new slide on the storyboard so we don't want this so what you actually want is you want to insert this on this existing slide so what we can do is we can just click on picture in picture button so now we can resize this just like that and place in the center so now let us play and check so I think we need to make some adjustment okay now since the number behind the logo is not visible we will have to adjust the timing so to do that you can just click on the logo and then click on adjust time now carefully observe till uh, which point the numbers are visible so i'll just play and check so i think uh yeah it's, it's, it ends somewhere here the numbering ends somewhere here i think here so what you can do is you can just uh, pull this slider towards right so this makes the logo appear after the numbering ends so i think the numbering ends here now let us play and check once again now i'll just click the play button once again okay i think i'll have to pull this a little this side so now let us play from the beginning yes so now i'll just click on the apply button so there is one more thing that is required now the logo hasn't got any animation effect to add an animation effect you can just click on the motion button here and just click on the motion button here and then you can just scroll down and uh, i would choose this rotate animation so i'll just click on rotate anti-clockwise just like that i think that's good so now let us play and check yeah this is perfect okay now let us add a music to this uh, intro so to do that you can click on the music tab and then click on add stock music or if you would like to upload your own music you can just click on the browse your music from computer link so I'll, i would click uh, add stock music so there are various 
uh, topics or categories here I'll just select uh, one of them I'll, let me select this let me play and check one of this So once you're satisfied with the music, you can just click on the use button. So now let us click on the play button and check. Now to export the YouTube intro we just created we will have to create on the export button at the top right here and select the resolution so I would select 1080p so then I'll just click on the next button and then enter a video name for this so I'll just say first YouTube intro and then I'll just uh, so I have added the information now I'll just click on the export video so this would take some time depending on the contents you have added and the uh, and depending on the video length so once it is successfully exported it would prompt you to save it to your computer so I'll just save it to this location so now let us open the folder and check so now our YouTube intro is downloaded I'll just open this and check I'll just play it Now so far you have learned how to create an intro now let us try to create an outro so to do that I'll just click on the templates tab once again so I'll go back I'll search for outro press the enter key now there are a lot of outro templates loaded here let me select one of them so I think uh, this looks good so what I would do is I would just uh, delete the intro so that is done so I'll just click on this button and click on the OK button to remove it oh sorry so uh, there needs to be at least one slide here so first we will import this one I'll just click on this so I'll just click on this plus button to import this to the storyboard so it takes some time to load so now I'll just delete the intro so now here you will have to replace the contents so I'll just click one by one so now it says edit text or you can just click on the upload logo so I think um, I'll choose this one I'll try the other one 
we try this itself yeah so the channel name So again see you can just double click this text to edit it okay so I'll just leave this I'll just play and check once so that was nice so similarly you can also change the video contents here so you can just uh, replace them with yours and then finally click on the export button to export it I hope you have learned how to create youtube intros and outros catch you soon with another flex clip tutorial soon thanks for watching